There are a lot of different esports out there, from games like League of Legends to Counter-Strike to Street Fighter to FIFA. But there is something commonplace in the culture of StarCraft that is practically non-existent in any other major esports title. You almost always choose to surrender. Let me back it up a second and explain. In most games, there's a point where the game decides that one player is the winner and the other is the loser. There's no decision in, I don't feel like giving up yet, it's just over, you lose, the other guy won. In games like League of Legends or Dota, it's when your team's main building is destroyed. In fighting games like Street Fighter, it's when your character runs out of health. Even in games like FIFA, it ends because the timer runs out and someone scored more goals. While you can concede before the game decides you've lost, it's not even remotely commonplace for someone to give up early. Even League of Legends, which I thought had a pretty high surrender rate, only has about 20% of games end in surrender. In almost every other major esport, the games go until the very last bitter dying breath of the loser. But StarCraft is different. I mean, sure, StarCraft does declare a loser if you lose every building. It has a win condition just like the other games. But what makes StarCraft so unique here is that the community of players made it common to surrender before the game decides that you've lost. You aren't being told by the game that it's over and your effort is in vain. You decide for yourself that you are not good enough to win from that position in the game. And it makes sense. StarCraft oftentimes leaves you in a situation where it feels impossible to come back from. Your opponent may have destroyed your army and now you're at a fifth of their army supply, or maybe their harassment devastated your economy beyond all hope. Your opponent would have to make a huge mistake to lose from here. Why waste another 5 minutes in a game where your chance at a comeback feels infinitesimal? So nearly every game that isn't an incredibly close base trade or an extremely salty ladder game ends with a forfeit. Think about that. That's actually a pretty big deal from a psychological perspective. Nearly every game, the loser has to come to terms with the fact that they have no more hope left. There's no more miracle plays that can save them. They just give up. They surrender. It hurts to admit, but you just can't win anymore. And sometimes it'll be accompanied by balance complaints or critical analysis of a mistake they made. But I think it really adds a bit of pain to every loss because you had to be the one to admit it, not the game. It's a tough part of StarCraft that's pretty cemented into the culture of a 20-year-old game. But lately, I've been wondering if people take it too far. StarCraft is a game about trying to play as perfectly as possible, but knowing that's ultimately humanly impossible, and that mistakes will happen. And yet, people so often forget to apply that same logic to their opponents. One of the most memorable players that was known for calling it quits too early was Idra. He had famous incidents where he was in games that he was actually ahead in, but would forfeit because he misread the game or didn't know about a massive mistake his opponent had made. These kinds of situations happen at the highest level of StarCraft, and throws of magnificent proportions still happen almost every day at the top level of competitive play. I think people often neglect the impact they have on a game when they're behind. Unlike some games such as bowling, where you're in separate lanes and never directly influence each other, StarCraft is a game where you can force mistakes out of your opponent. You don't have to sit there with your fingers crossed praying that your opponent throws a gutter ball. You can go actively tax their attention, their micro, their understanding of strategy, and force mistakes that allow you to come back. There are so many mechanics that allow you to capitalize on mistakes, from creative tactics like burrowed banelings, to clever widow mine placements, to surprise high templar flanks, and multi-prong harassment. If you made a mistake big enough to get that far behind against an opponent of your skill level, then they're capable of making just as big of a mistake. In a lot of traditional sports, there's a term for someone that has an exceptional amount of resolve to carry on, even in the face of certain defeat. It's grit. And I honestly think that we're blessed that StarCraft allows us to show that sense of grit instead of calling the games prematurely over just because you're a bit behind. So why not take advantage of it? You may surprise yourself at how many games you can actually come back from. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I know a lot of people can get annoyed when their opponents seem dead and just won't leave, so what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time.